Hi everyone, I do read quite a few articles and blogs and books about machine learning. As you know, I'm obsessed with this topic and whenever I run into something good, then I try to record uh, some sort of a review. And in this case, I'm gonna talk about a review of uh, this book that's uh, titled Machine Learning with Scikit-Learn and Scientific Python Toolkits. It's by Tarek uh, Amr. I hope I'm saying the author's name right. And uh, I should uh, assure you that this is definitely not a sponsored video, although this book got delivered to me so I can provide my honest review and I hope I'll do a good job in providing an honest review of this book. Now let's jump into the review part itself. If you need one book as a reference for getting started with machine learning, and again, this is not deep learning, this is machine learning I'm talking about. Yeah, the traditional machine learning about random forest. You wanna learn about naive Bayes, like all the basics of machine learning. If you just need one book, then this can be a great one to be on the side of your table. In fact, I wish I had this book about two years ago when I was going through the tutorials, my tutorials uh, on YouTube, and thanks for subscribing to my channel. I definitely encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. Uh, so the, again, getting back to the topic, I definitely recommend this to be a good reference on the side of your table. Now, it does cover uh, quite a few different things. And in fact, the best thing that I like about this is the right balance between the text and the coding part, right? I don't, want, I don't like books that are coding heavy, in which case the author is not saying a lot about uh, the, the theory behind it or the story behind it. I am more of a storytelling and I like to listen to stories. And this is almost like that. They walk you through the basics and then eventually also talks about, uh, for example, multi-layer perceptron, which provides you a quick introduction to deep learning, but definitely not deep learning, right? So um, I, I, I think every topic is covered. In fact, I was uh, surprised to even find a, uh, a note about Manhattan distance. <laughs> and I was actually a bit uh, disappointed that I did not find Mahalanobis distance in the book. Again, I don't want to get into the details, but again, this, these, these, uh, uh, I'm referring to this, the comparison between two different, uh, two different data sets, right? So these are the distances that kind of help you quantify this. Anyway, so it even got into that uh, topic. So. I think they did a good job in terms of our, I should say Tariq, got a good job, uh, have done a uh, good job in covering all of these uh, different topics. Now, this is definitely not a book for you if you are looking for some sort of a image processing, image centric. Of course, they have uh, a lot of uh, examples, for example, using MNIST fashion data set or MNIST images. So uh, they use that to walk you through the core basics of machine learning, but this is not a book about image processing. This is not a book about deep learning. So one, I really want you to understand that. And uh, uh, in summary, basically this book, uh, it, it, uh, it is just a reference. I think I started off by uh, saying that it is a very good reference. And in fact, if you have no idea about machine learning, you, you're trying to get started, then this will just bring you up to a certain speed, at which point now you have enough knowledge to go ahead and watch more YouTube videos or however you learn and get more understanding. So uh, there you go. So if you like reading books, then I definitely recommend uh, at least giving this a try. So I tried to find something critical, something negative. The only critical or negative thing aspect I can talk about is they did not cover deep learning, but if they did, then this book would be twice the size. So hopefully he will come up with uh, a deep learning book. Tarek will come up with a deep learning book that makes the concept easy for you to understand. Okay, let me stop my uh, review right there and let me uh, talk to you again in uh, one of my future videos. Thank you guys.